on this guy. Cause we got we got this shit back. We got this shit back. A little Ron. Like he said the governor. We're gonna get our power back. It's gonna be fast. We get all down light poles and shit, but they light up. I don't care. I don't think they're gonna burn the grass or anything. I hope not. I don't think they get very hot. It's fine. No more noise maker. That generic was making nice sounds last night, roaring all night long. I think sounds cool. Freaking made in China. Made in China. Oh, this is wonderful, man. You can walk around at the night. Walk around in the night. That's pretty cool. Things getting better by the day. Can I just drop my bag again? Yep. Hold that one. Okay, hey, Lulu. Yeah, okay, we had an AC. We had the fridge running. It's an hour after the storm. I didn't even think we were going to get knocked out. And I didn't think we were going to get even a storm. I said, yeah, maybe we'll get 40. 80 mile an hour wind gust. That's what I thought. We kind of did get 40, 80 mile an hour wind gust. Luckily, we didn't get rain. That's where a tornado ripped through. I got another video. That'd be like a whole line. I think it was a mini tornado. It's a whole line of trees. Pretty cool. And then people do survive if you want to. You can get a generator. It improves your life. I would have been pretty pissed off having nothing but quiet. All those days. Generator's fun. You gotta have enough fuel. As always, like I learned this the last time, but you didn't have a generator to last you at least 48 hours. At least two days. Two days. On the third day, you seem to always find fuel. So ideally, have enough fuel for three days. And then you're really covered. After three days, there's fuel. Because the gas stations here require it to be like covered by a generator. Which is also an extremely smart idea that more states should implement. Should implement. Okay. Um, a lot of things are on generated power here. You think about it on a disaster. Florida's pretty shitty, but they have their shit together with, uh, with power generation. And yeah, I don't know how many days? Six days? Five days? I don't know, something like that. One day. Plus power like Thursday or Wednesday or something like that. Wednesday in the middle of the day, I think. Yeah, they cut the power here anyway. Because there's nothing wrong with these lights. What, the, what the FPL does is they cut the power when the wind speed is like 30 miles an hour to prevent line damage. Like arcing lines in the ground. So they do that. Then it takes them a while to go around and uh, reset the switches that have tripped. And to also do a um, power line inspection. That's how it always works. But this doesn't go out from the storm. You could probably could have ran these power through the whole storm. Yeah, it was cut pretty late. And um, I probably still would have had power. Oh no, the cell phone tower is back. I'm gonna get headaches again. And the super fast internet that I had that I have to show is gonna slow down. I had one gig up and almost uh, one gig download. It's crazy. Now it was one gig download, almost one gig up actually. It's crazy. Yeah, the out of staters, they get their job done faster than the in state people. So, like Cherry Hill, New Jersey, and shit. They do a, the northerners, you know, this shit. Like, when all power used to go bad and the northeast man that shit was on fast they just got shit done no bullshit no digging around get your spirit back it survived the storm yes all right ah the sound of the central air conditioning nice. we need a generator that will run that today 